Um, just watched your TikTok, so excited for your cooking show. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Teresa, I'm back. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my meatballs. I have everything measured out to, you know, to show you guys, and I have cookbooks, you guys can follow my recipes on my cookbooks, but I've been doing this now for a long time. I was married almost 20 years, but you know, now I'm divorced. Now I'm married to um, my new husband, Louie, and we've been married now, it's gonna, it's gonna be almost a year. But when I cook, I cook everything just by eye. I don't measure anything. And I just, yeah, that's how my mom cooked. That's how I cook. That's how I'm gonna teach my daughters to cook. I mean, I, the only time I measure is when I bake. One thing that I wanna tell you guys, make sure you cook with love. That's my trademark. I love to cook with love. When you put your love into it, it tastes incredible. It tastes so delicious. And any, anybody that you're cooking for, they'll see that you put the love into it and, and they'll taste that too. Oh my god. I'm not eating it. <laughs> I'm not cooking fully. I'm going to put them in the Sunday sauce. Oh my god, stop! Oh my god. Sorry. Ew. Where did I snort it? All right, go up, up, up. <laughs> Okay, so first we're gonna start with the chopped meat. Right here I have it. I have um, ground beef, and there's different percentages that you could get when you buy it at the store. Also, if you don't wanna use ground beef, you could use turkey, turkey meat also. So sometimes I go back and forth. So I have the, the ground beef here. I'll put that in, and then I'll go back to the garlic. I have my three eggs right here. I add a little salt right here, and then I love um, red pepper flakes in my meatballs. Now, you put as many as you want in it, like how spicy you want it. So I just, I, I always just put a pinch in it. Then I add my parsley right here. And I add my breadcrumbs. I add my grated cheese, and again, you put as much grated cheese you want, like that. And lastly is my garlic, but where's my chopper? So here's my chopper. And garlic, you could put as many as you want, you know, as many cloves as you want in it. So I just had two cloves in it. And then lastly is my milk. So now I just, I'm gonna mix it with my hands. This reminds me of my mom. This is how my mom used to do it. I used to see her folding it in, folding it in, folding it in. And sometimes my mom wouldn't take off her rings. I'm like, you have to. I, I never cook with my rings on. Like she was the type to always keep her rings on. So and so I use Pecorino Romano cheese, but you could use mozzarella cheese, you could use Parmigiano cheese, what, you know, whatever cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano, whatever cheese you want to use in your meatballs, you could use. You could um, customize your meatballs however you want. And add, you know, add more garlic if you want, add more, you know, make them spicy, make them not spicy, add more salt. Okay. All right, that's it. After you mix them, and then, then you make your meatball. Oh, they, and they feel really soft. Like, you don't want them to feel so hard, because then you want your meatballs to be nice and moist. Right here, just like that. My mom used to tell me, don't roll it. Like you, just, you don't want them to be hard. So just like that, really softly, make them into round balls. Like that. Um, yeah, so you can make your meatballs whatever size you want them to be. Um, also you could add black pepper in here. I don't use that much black pepper. Now I've been using it more because my dad didn't like black, black pepper. So that's why my recipe doesn't call for black pepper, but you could put black pepper in if you want. I make meatballs um, on Sunday. I make meatballs on Sunday and put them in my, in my sauce. And sometimes I bake them and sometimes I fry them. And of course, frying tastes better. But, or usually I, I, I fry them like in the pan, like in the, in the big sauce pan when I make my sauce. But baking is like the healthier way to go. So, and I remember like we used to, my mom used to fry them like when we were younger. And then as we got older, my dad had cholesterol. So then she started baking them. 
So then we got, you know, then we got healthier. And then that's why I came out with my other cookbook, Fabulicious on the Grill. Because grilling your food is better than frying it. So I would love to hear from you guys if there's anything else that you want me to cook. I would love to cook it for you or any other recipes from my cookbooks that you want me to, that you want to see me cook, please, you know, write it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Love, love, love to hear from you. Right now I have this little, little meatball right here. It's okay, we'll make a little meatball. Little, little meatball left over. And that'll be cute. It, it'll, it's, it's perfect for a mouthful. Mmm, see that? So today we're gonna fry them. I have them right here. I have my olive oil. I always just pour it into the pan. So I have them right here. I'm frying the meatballs. I like to get them, you know, really cooked on the outside. I don't fully cook them, and then they cook completely in the sauce when I put them in the sauce. Usually when I cook meatballs, someone like start smelling them and they'll start coming downstairs. And they're like, I smell your sauce, your Sunday sauce. Or oh, they smell like the garlic from the garlic in the meatballs. This is a perfect meal to make for your family. You can put in your Sunday sauce, you can make meatball parm. So this is great. And everyone loves a great meatball. And then you should also make extra sauce and then you could have it like as a quick snack also. Just have a meatball with some sauce and some shredded mozzarella on top. Mmm, delicious. This is like nothing what I usually, what I normally cook. I usually use like this huge pot. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys the pot that I use when I cook my Sunday sauce. This is the pot that I make my Sunday sauce in on Sundays. So it's really big. So that's what I make on Sundays. So, okay, so usually I just brown the meatballs, just cook them both sides just like this. And the rest of the meatballs just cook in the sauce. Okay, then I put it on here on a paper towel. I put on so then it absorbs the oil. Hey T. Hi, honey. It smells good in here. I'm making meatballs. Nice. Yeah. This looks good. Wait, 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 no, I didn't I didn't I didn't they're not cooked fully. They're not cooked fully. I'm gonna put them in the Sunday sauce. <laughs> Oh my God, stop! Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. No, I'm sorry. These usually come out so good. So I know. I, had to come I, in and give I, it didn't, a try. I didn't cook it fully. Jesus. Sorry. No, you got me scared there. I was about to have a summer. I didn't cook it fully. Okay, it's done. So good. All right. I mean, I'll throw this one out now. All sorry. right. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to put them in the sauce. That's why I cook them on the outside and then I put them in the Sunday sauce. You know, in the oh, you put them, and they, they cook in the sauce? Yes. Gotcha. And they cook gotcha. in the sauce fully. Like, I don't cook them fully because mm -hmm. it's like, you know, they'll just cook in the sauce and mm -hmm. they get really moist. Oh, right, cool. Right. Oh, those are my favorite. I can't wait until they're done. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, thank you for making so, it. Sorry. Making sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it wasn't fully cooked. <laughs> it's all right. It's not your fault. All right. I just can't wait, you know? I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. He loves my meatball. So my meatballs are done. I'm gonna put them in the sauce now. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on my next episode.